Good afternoon all, this is Eli at Kingsbridge Autos in Leeds. I'm delighted to offer you uh, for sale this absolutely stunning 2018 Porsche Cayenne. It's got 17 and a half thousand miles on and it's the 4S so it's four wheel drive and the S denotes that it's got the 2.9 V6 engine with 440 horsepower so it's pretty quick uh, and offers a great driving experience as most Porsche 4x4s do they offer the experience of driving a bit more like uh, I'd say a hot hatch for one of a better comparison so this one's finished in the jet black metallic. It's a really nice, nicely spec car. We actually know the previous owner as well. So the first owner ordered it from new because um, he sold us another car and then the current owner bought it from him. Uh, and then they've come back to us to, to, for us to, uh, to sell it again. So we bought this into stock. I really like Porsches. I sell a lot of, I sell a lot of them really nicely built quality is fantastic and they're reliable so yeah I think they're good uh, they're good cars unlike some of the other manufacturers which don't have as good a reputation so this one's got um, some nice options let's go through some of those now so you've got the 21 inch RS alloy wheels with the full color center caps so that's a really nice option the 285 40 21 Pirelli P0 tyres on there. Huge uh, Porsche 6 pot calipers. All the wheels are unmarked on this particular example. Body works fantastic, uh, as you'd expect. This car is priced at £69,000, which represents great value when you look at what else is on the market that doesn't have the same options or look quite as good. Black on black usually always being the best colour in my opinion on those 4x4s. What also is a nice option is it's got the black monochrome exterior gloss package so this is all finished the window surround etc is all finished in black as opposed to chrome so that gives it that bit more stealthy look. You've also got the Porsche LED headlights uh, and these ones have got the Porsche Dynamic Light System or PDLS. Great system. Uh, essentially, it's an active uh, headlight. So great if you're driving down darker roads. The LED lights, uh, they look cool and they function a lot better than standard ones. Great option because they don't come as standard. Everything with Porsche is an option. You've also got the tinted the tinted tail lights which um, again I think just finish it off nicely as opposed to the standard the standard uh, variant obviously it's all matter of personal taste but I I really like it uh, another nice touch is the Porsche sport tail pipes in black as opposed to the standard ones they're pretty cool uh, and again help finish it off in my opinion again all the wheels are unmarked on this particular car really nice looked after just been serviced at Porsche in October 2019 as well so it doesn't need a service so pretty much ready to go doesn't need anything doing to it at all obviously there's no MOT because it's under three years old it's not even 18 months old I think um, from memory it'll be 18 months old next month sort of December 19 lovely looking uh, lovely looking car there you've also got the privacy glass on this so let's move on to the interior of this uh, KN 4S completely debadged at the rear as well by the way so there's no uh, indication to any, anyone else what engine or the power of this particular example so obviously you've got power boot there's the button there uh, you've also got on this particular example uh, Porsche air suspension adaptive so you can adjust it to whatever height you want and you can do that as well here with these buttons it's also got Porsche active suspension management 
so these are essential options don't buy a Porsche 4x4 without air suspension at the very or PASM at the very least because the ride is nowhere near as tolerable as it is with these options it makes the ride a lot softer a lot smoother and then when you want to drive it like you stole it just firm it up and it'll handle like a heart attach so definitely worth having under here you've got the Bose subwoofer it's pretty big actually bigger than I thought uh, tire inflation kit locking wheel nut uh, original tool kit etc as with most cars these days buying a spare wheel is an option so you've got the tow bar there as well which just press that button for the tow bar to come out if you want to put a bike rack on it for example which a lot of people like to do these days okay let's move around to the back so open this door nice solid door as they are with the most Porsches built really well and uh, you've got the nice piano gloss black finish as an option um, the bow sound system bit of an essential one that you've got the four zone climate on this with a rear climate control uh, heated seats at the rear as well as at the front so that can be adjusted you've got a USB socket and 12 volt socket there as well full black leather seats Don't take that for granted because not all of them have full leather some of them have half uh the standard ones i think don't even have any leather so it's not something to just assume they all do but the kns stainless steel sill plate uh, the porsche branded uh, mats and the eight-way adjustable seats holders with a 12 volt socket and a nice chrome finish around the edge and you've got the uh, wireless uh, phone charger 12 volt socket sorry wireless phone charger and two USB sockets there and my wallet that's not coming with the car just FYI uh, right let's talk about some of the some of the other options and features so you've also got sport chrono a nice option to have uh, quite a desirable one as well and of course heated front seats as I mentioned earlier Porsche active suspension management PASM electronic cam brake and uh, this lovely sort of I don't know if you can hear that haptic sort of feedback when you press on the black glass buttons really really nice design and uh, really nice he's got this knurled finish on the volume control as well which is really nice uh, so Porsche really I, th I think in my opinion having bought and sold a lot of cars their interiors are certainly one of the best currently and their media system navigation is pretty much the best I've I've seen I think it beats BMW certainly Range Rover Audi etc uh, as being up there with the, the best one what I like about this is it's difficult to see with the uh, with the sun reflecting but you've got this apps button so you can scroll through different apps so for example if you wanted to see what the weather was like it's got a built-in sim card so you can actually uh, see the weather scroll through it not great as usual as you'd expect in uh, lovely rainy England uh, I'm in the north of the country in Leeds so it's uh, seven degrees it's, it's pretty cold actually uh, so you've got this apps feature and some great uh, features of the app so you can just find things because it, it basically connects to the internet so you can find petrol stations hotels parking restaurants etc you can see what's um, what the news is um, you can also see like what is um, there you go so Germans Merkel mass defend NATO after Macron's rebuke okay yeah, that's pretty good and you know things like online search as well you can even just search google you see the little logo there for pretty much anything so it's a really advanced system um the nav is so good because a you can choose different um different settings so for example let's just 
go to that. You can have different map layers. You can have point a compass on there if you want to overlay a compass. Uh, 3D map, 3D buildings, which I've ticked. Night and day mode. Speed limit can be on there. Let's put that as tick that actually, because that's a useful thing to have. So you can see the speed limit any road you're driving on. I mean, you don't get this on any of the other systems. Certainly not any of the Land Rovers. It's nowhere near as advanced. Uh, smart routing, online navigation services. It's just really clever stuff, and it's pretty much like using a proper computer at home. It's that good. Auto zoom, satellite map. And obviously, you can take that off and just have it to normal navigation if you want. So we'll go out of that menu. You can pull this across and see your mini menus, such as your your radio. I like listening to LBC. Listen to all the politics, uh, calls, etc. Your signal there, and um, it's actually pretty much like an iPhone or your modern phones. It's you know you can pinch to zoom, so that's pretty clever as well. Uh, media, you've got various different uh, sources. So you've got DAB. Uh, AM, FM, online, Bluetooth, etc. So you can play music back via your phone if you wish. It's just so much, so many options and everything. Your phones, messages, your car, sport chrono. So if you are going to do a hot lap, <laughs> not I think you'd choose a KNS to do it, but if you did, uh, you could uh, record that on here. Uh, so the car, you've got the air suspension, which is a great option. So you can have the different heights, low, medium, high terrain. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Uh, definitely one that you should, uh, once you should get. <coughs> Excuse me. And then your PASM, your chassis, normal sport, sport plus. Porsche Active Suspension Management. Uh, and then if you've got your different modes, Sport Plus mode for example, which instantly lowers the car, firms everything up, turns off the stop start. Uh, so loads of options there and it's all configurable also via this little switch wheel that you can just uh, turn around on the steering wheel. Uh, Off-road options, you can choose different uh, different terrain that you're going to drive on. Control. So on this, you can like change the ambient lighting. You can choose different colours and set the brightness there as well. That's pretty cool. Nice at night. Um, and then obviously you can control things like your uh, the main system here, as well as uh, the displays, the vehicle. I mean, there's just countless options you can go into that you can control with this uh, trip. Oh no, we'll go back to that. Then climate, so obviously you can control the rear if you want, uh, and the front. Uh, let's go to rear there. So that's all configurable, and then you've got this one here as well. Assist, so you've got the Porsche Active Safe, which will automatically break the car if it detects that you're going to have a, a pending collision. Uh, it'll certainly warn you first before it does um, so that's quite good it just means you're going to be kept safe park assist so you've got parking sensors front and back this has also got the rear camera there you go with the on-screen display of the car quite a lot of options all the options are listed on the ad and like i say it totals over fifteen thousand pounds and definitely worth having it's got the best options you've of course got the Panoramic sunroof with blind, a lovely knilled finish on the uh, switch there. And that pan roof is uh, brightens the interior so much, it's pretty much essential, I'd say. The sport multifunction steering wheel, with full controls, you've got um, your phone controls, volumes, etc. Got the lovely um, aluminium gear shift paddles, voice control. Got cruise control there, and uh, we'll go round to the other side. I'll just show you some of the other bits that I may have missed. Obviously, you've got 
indicators built into the mirrors. So you've got power boot, open and close, okay, folding mirrors, mirror adjust there, window controls, locking, plenty of big, big bin storage for putting bottles, etc. The aluminium pedals, lights on automatic, keyless start, and your wipers there as well. Then, of course, we get in and start her up. Foot on the brake, just got to have the key in. Uh, you've got this lovely digital dash. So, car currently on 17,500 miles roughly. You can flick through various different menus. That's with this button, the scroll wheel, I should say, on the steering wheel. So, these are all configurable, these screens here. Uh, mute button there. As you turn the switch here, that should tell you what mode you're in there and there. And again, this screen here is configurable, so you can go through the various different, uh, whether you want to see the um, car's uh, current temperature, etc. You want to see sat nav. It's all on here. And that can all be messed around with if you wish. And that, ladies and gentlemen, finishes off the video for the Porsche Cayenne 4S that we have for sale. We offer nationwide delivery all over the country, in fact, all over the world. So if you want this car delivered to you, we can do. We offer fantastic finance packages where you can put uh, either sometimes no deposit or small deposit uh, and the rest either on a LP lease purchase or with a balloon at the end or a higher purchase, depending how much you want to spend a month. And uh, the car's obviously got another year and a half or so or more of warranty. So uh, that's direct with Porsche. And I would like to say it's just had its, uh, its first uh, service, which are every two years on Porsche. That's on all Porsches. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to hearing from you uh, with you any questions you may have on this particular vehicle. See you on the next one. Bye.